And in terms of the state and, you know, Act 46, South Burlington already is a consolidated school district. In my mind, you don't have to close three schools and build a new one. You could probably reduce to two if you wanted to and repurpose one of the properties. My last argument is that that land under Central School is the only land that is owned by the city slash school board in the city center, city center area. And if that is sold to a developer, it is gone forever. What a great resource it would have to have an education, recreation, a possible library to then complement all of the residential up to the five or six stories that you're going to have in those Market and Garden Street areas of City Center. Um, Chris, do you want to... Um well, that I think his timeline's a little off from my perspective. The major issue that started the Master Planning and Vision Committee would have been the fifth and sixth grade being consolidated into the middle school and the community saying no, 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 no. And of course then the school system has to look at the entire district and what's going on with all the schools in order to make a solid decision about fifth into sixth grade. It's not that a developer came in and said here's seven thousand dollars which is way less than we I think would both agree with the school would ever be worth. Uh, that wasn't the precipitating event. So I, I, well, I take wait, issue wait, with that let, because, let's, let's because the finish, Master finish. Visioning Task Force document actually says on there that one of the reasons that they were brought together to, to do this analysis was because of the offer for Central School. Uh, well, it's the, right in the documentation. And, and you don't think the 5th and 6th grade had anything to do with that? The 5th and 6th grade was something that happened a few years earlier when Not there was an attempt. Years. It was an attempt to try and say, hey, maybe we should take the 5th grades out, put them at Tuttle School. And there was, I think there was a try fairly large backlash. Right. But not six months, a backlash from the parents thinking that they were going to have to have their kids move to a different school. And that, that wasn't handled very well in terms of, of transparency and, and, and communication with the public. So um, I don't know how you want to proceed from here because we Chris, have three I'll give minutes. Chris, I'll give you a minute and then we'll close. Well, I, I think to, to certainly uh, add to Tim's point that, you know, the Saxon Partners uh, proposal was a bit blindsiding for both city council and for the school board. And, uh, you know, I appreciate his, uh, you know, reaction to it because uh, it's a visceral one. But I, I think uh, we've moved beyond that and I think we're at a point where uh, cooler heads are prevailing and you have the school board doing their due diligence based on the recommendations of the master planning and visioning folks. And they didn't work in a vacuum, they worked with very hard numbers and they worked with quite a lot of members of the community and I think they came up with a unanimous decision for all 11 of them that the Central Marcotte School needed to be repurposed because they're declining enrollment. Now, if the school board wants to take them up on it, that's the school board's business. And, I, and maybe you should be running a school board. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. We had the same thing happen on the city side with the Wheeler Homestead. We had the police station was recommended to be put on the Wheeler Homestead Park because that was going to be the least alternative. The voters okay, decided to not to do it. I'm going to stop you on that one because we are running out of time. Sorry. All right. Um, one more minute. So this is exactly why I am running for this office, right? It's this perception that that the city council, right, with its with its 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 business backed, you know, uh, city councilors can can take these offers from developers and then try and mold through, you know, the school board and the master vision task force what they think should actually happen when in fact it should be the other way around, right? So, I am running as a resident um, candidate. My my campaign is funded by myself and a few supporters. Small donations. Uh, it's go total grassroots, and, and one of the reasons why I think the school board has, has held up on this process of, of making decisions because there has been so much feedback you know, from me and from people that I have been talking to ever since this task force right, uh, reached its conclusion that we didn't think was correct, that this is why the, you know, the process has, has slowed down. So if it is in the past, I, I could attribute it to this possibly, All right, and that's why I'm running.